this problem, we're asked to find the reference number in the terminal point for t equals 11 pi over 4. The reference number, um, finding that means we're going to refer it back to quadrant 1. So if we draw quadrant 1 of the unit circle, here we have our x and our y, and there's one quarter of our unit circle. We think of t as being the distance that we've moved along here. So here we have 0, we have pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and up here is pi over 2. And we know what the xy coordinates are for each of those distances. We can make a chart. Starting at a distance of 0, the x coordinate we can see here, we're going to have the point 1, 0. The x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 0. Then we go to pi over 6, and we're going to follow a pattern. 1 is the same as the square root of 4 over 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Following the pattern, we have square root of 3 over 2. For our next value, we have square root of 2 over 2, and 1 half. That was square root of 1 over 2. And at pi over 2, we're down to 0. We follow the reverse here. We note that the point up here is x is 0, y is 1. x is 0, y is 1. We have the reverse pattern. 0 is square root of 0 over 2. Square root of 1 over 2 is just 1 half square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. So we want to relate 11 pi over 4 back to quadrant 1. We can think of my strategy, we can think of this um, in terms of 8 pi plus 3 pi 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. I chose 8 pi because I'm choosing some multiple of the denominator that doesn't exceed the number on top. So here we could have chosen 4, 8, 12, 16. We didn't choose 12 because it went past 11. And then we just make sure that the sum adds up to 11 pi. This can be separated to 8 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4. 8 pi over 4 is just 2 pi plus 3 pi over 4. The whole reason that I'm doing this is to make it easier on myself when I figure out where I am on the unit circle. So if I look at my x and y, if I start at 0 and I go 2 pi around, that's 2 pi. And then when I go 3 fourths pi, well, I know that this was 0. I know that this is 2 pi. Over here, we hit pi. So when we go 0 to 2 pi, now we want to go 3 quarters of the way again to pi. It's going to be right here. I can connect this. That's going to be where our point is. Our reference angle, we're looking for the shortest distance to the x-axis. So we're looking for how far to get back down to the x-axis. Since this was 3 quarters of the way to the x-axis, then our reference number is going to be pi over 4. Now, we know from our chart up here that pi over 4 corresponds to the xy coordinate square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. And we can see that we are located, this is quadrant 1, this point is located in quadrant 2. We know that quadrant 2 is negative in the x direction and positive in the y direction. So when we do our final answer, we have to apply these signs. So our final answer is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2 
and positive square root of 2 over 2. That is the xy coordinates for the terminal point. t bar was the reference number.